Quilters Newsletter TV, the Quilters community, is brought to you by Handy Quilter, designed by a quilter for quilters, and Husqvarna Viking, keeping the world sewing for over 140 years. Hi, and welcome to Quilters Newsletter TV, the Quilters community. I'm Mary Kate Carpetris, and I'm here today with Quilters Newsletter's creative editor, Lori Baker. Hi, Lori. Hello. Uh, Lori, what are you showing us today? I took a pattern out of the February, March, 2014 issue of Quilter's Newsletter, modified it a bit because it's a throw size in the magazine and mm -hmm. I made it into a queen size. And I'm just going to talk about how to sew the curved pieces. Okay. Which is something that, you know, even with something gentle like this, people might hear curved piecing and, you know, back away, back away slowly from the patterns. And it's <laughs> not as freaky as the, not they think all. it is. Mm -mm. So in the issue, we have uh, the templates, and I simply copied the templates onto template plastic. Mm -hmm. We need to know where the little dots are, so I've marked those, and I've made a little hole, a little tiny pinprick, so I can mark through the yeah. hole when I cut my piece of fabric. Right, so just to compare, so here's the template pattern in the magazine, and the holes are there. And the, the instructions do tell you to transfer the dots, and that's a pretty common pattern right. yeah. convention. And, yeah. Mm -hmm. So you do you, you make the little holes, and you, you can use so a little then, hole punch if you yes. want to, or an awl, or you know, tip your Just applique something. scissors. You know, I actually use scissors. Okay, <laughs> but I'm not the only one. Yeah, that's what I did. Yeah. So then, you mark when you cut your fabric. You mm -hmm. mark those dots that were on your template. I marked them with with a permanent marker so it'd show on camera, but you're going to want to use a wash away marker of some sort. Mm -hmm, a pencil, something, right. fabric pencil. And then when you get ready to pin, you simply match those dots mm -hmm. and pin them together. Right, and so you can put a pin through one dot and then anchor it through the other. Correct. And do all Correct. three dots first and then pin them. And along. then pin the ends. Mm -hmm. So when you're ready to sew, you've got something that looks like this. I like to sew with the side with the most bulk down, mm -hmm. so you've got the feed dogs feeding mm -hmm. it through. To help ease in that fullness. That's right. And, and as I always do, I use my fingers a lot to check for wrinkles. Okay. So I'm sure that I'm not getting any little puckers as I'm sewing. And if you're more comfortable with it, you could pin more. Oh, absolutely. You know, um, pin as much as you want. Could be every, well, quarter inch would be a lot. But if that's what you want to, in if order that's to what help ease in that fullness. Um, and I'm just m making sure that the edge of both fabrics line up and are riding right on the edge of that quarter inch foot. Mm -hmm. And I sew really fast a lot of the time, but yes. I don't sew fast when I'm sewing curves. Just take your time. Just and take your time, manipulate, make sure you don't have any wrinkles. Because you're working on nothing but bias at this point. That's right. So. And there's a lot of room for movement. Mm -hmm. The nice thing, though, is it does, um, a lot of times, that fullness does ease in. That's right. Because of the, the bias aspect. And I've found, even with a really basic mechanical machine like I have, um, you really don't have to do a lot of work to turn it, um, with, especially with a nice big, this is a you know, drunkard's path um, block like this. It's just, just sort of gently guide it. And, it... and, and don't be afraid to stop frequently mm -hmm. and adjust the edge on that underlaying piece of fabric. And talking about fabric, uh, this happens to be the Monaco collection from Red Rooster Fabrics. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And it's, a, it's such a beautiful line. And it again, is. It's just, um, this pattern is a really nice way to show off a nice big print. Um, you know, as you can see in the, well, this 
this fabric here, it's a great place to show off a nice big print. Right. If you've right. got a lot of it, right. um, get a lot, of, a lot of punch. So once we have it all sewn together, we're ready to take it to the ironing board and press. Mm -hmm. When you're doing something like this where you're matching uh, the curves in different places, it'd be a good thing to press half of the blocks to the dark side and half of the blocks to the light mm. side so that you can nest when you put sure. them together because they're going to go together like this and it just makes it easier to mm -hmm. match if you've got opposing seams. Mm -hmm. And that's really all there is to making those gentle curves. Do you starch when you press your patches beforehand? No. Because I want the bias right. to go ahead and have a little movement. When you get to this point, it's not a bad idea to starch. Because then you don't want things moving, That's shifting right. around a I'm lot. I'm done with the movement at this point. I want those things to stay nice and mm -hmm. steady. Very good. Well, again, very simple, but um, we just know from experience and feedback that sometimes people see curved or templates and they, they think, oh, that's not a pattern that I even want to monkey around with. But again, look at, look at this. I mean, it's so beautiful and easy, and it goes together really pretty quickly. It does. Despite stitching slowly. Yes. It goes together fairly quickly, and that's it's a right. nice looking quilt, and it's traditional, and you can play with the orientation of the blocks. You can get yes. all sorts of designs. This particular pattern has them in vertical rows with sashing strips, but totally play around and have some oh, fun. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's a fun block. And very much so. Thanks so much for showing this to us, and a beautiful yes. quilt. I can't wait to see it when it's all done. I know you'll probably blog about it, I right? I will. Yeah. Great. Yeah. So check the Quilters Newsletter blog and you can see the completed project when she's finished uh, quilting those borders. It'll be beautiful. Thanks so much for joining us today. We look forward to seeing you next time. Bye-bye. Quilters Newsletter TV, the Quilters Community, is brought to you by Handy Quilter, designed by a quilter for quilters, and Husqvarna Viking, keeping the world sewing for over 140 years.